be testing out some hair extensions, something different from my channel. And we are going to be testing out the Goo Goo hair. Let's do it. Hi there guys and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing very very well today. Today's video is all about hair extensions. Let's see what I look like with them in and the hair extensions in question are these. So these are by Goo Goo Hair. I am loving loving the presentation of the box very very nice indeed um so on here it just says goo goo hair extensions um i will link their website down below in the information box and the comment box so give that a click and go over and see what they've got um and they have also given me a code for you guys as well it's a 10 percent off code i'll put the code here i'll also put it with the links as well um so yeah to be totally clear and transparent i have been gifted these i have not paid for these in exchange to do an unboxing on my channel and to try them on and so on so that's exactly what we're going to do it has been a long while <laughs> since i wore hair extensions like a long long time so i'm actually really super excited to try them because my hair grows to a certain length and that's it so <laughs> Let's see what I look like with longer hair. The hair extensions that I've got are the 150 gram clip-in extensions. The length that I chose was 16 inches. I didn't want to go too long um, to start off with. <laughs> um, and yeah, the shade that I've got is 16 slash 22, which is light blonde highlights. I did not know what colour to choose, if I'm totally honest with you, but it says on their website and if you go on their Instagram, I'll link that down below as well, um, that you can just message them and ask for help. That's exactly what I did. I took some photographs and yeah, they helped me choose this colour. So fingers crossed, they match. And as far as I can see as well, their hair extensions are currently on sale, which is cool. So go get them at the bargain price and then get an extra 10% off using my code as well. They do all sorts. They do tape in hair extensions. They do clip it. Well, these are clip ins. Um, as I say, these are the 150 ones. They do 120 gram ones, um, 150 gram ones. They do ponytail um, extensions. They do a seamless collection, so particularly good if you have finer hair and you don't want any seams popping through. Um, they do a topper collection, um, a wire collection as well. Okay, um, like I say, I'll put a link to their website down below so you can go and have a good nosy. And if you do get stuck on colour selection, send them a message. They are so nice to talk to, very approachable indeed. Um, but yeah. Let's get them out of this box. Trying to take it off as gently as possible because I want to keep this box really in good condition because I want to keep the hair extensions in here. They've provided a nice box, why not? So let's open her up. So you take the lid off and this is what you are met with. In the lid, it just says, changeable life at your fingertips. <laughs> and then this is what it looks like inside. So we have, oh, if I can pick them up, we have the actual extensions. We'll take a closer look at those in a moment. Then we have this. So let's take this out. Okay, so we have a little uh, satin bag there to pop your hair extensions in. I like that. That's a very nice touch indeed because obviously we want to look after then them. Then we are provided with a sectioning clip. Ooh, I really like that. We are provided with a lovely, lovely scrunchy bobble. We also get some eyelashes in here as well and they actually look absolutely gorgeous. And then we have some paperwork in here too. So let's take a nosy at this. Right, so this little card is just a guarantee card um, and it just says on there, lifetime hair accessories replacement guarantee, one clip broken, two fish wire problem, three hair tape stop work, uh, all of the above contact goo goo hair for new hair extension accessories okay so yeah if there's a problem with your clip or anything just get in contact with them if you have the fish wire um extensions obviously yeah and then if you have the tape in ones okay that's actually really nice of them to do isn't it so next we have 
instructions um so yeah if you are new to hair extensions i say i haven't done hair extensions in years absolute years so you might as well say i'm new to it because it's been so so long um let's have a look so there's just a little note there from them right so we have a page there telling you what categories on what pages so we have tape in hair instructions we have clip in hair instructions wire hair ex instructions wire hair <laughs> extension instructions um pu clip in extensions care and styling tips frequently asked questions and after sale warranty so the first thing i'm going to look at is care and styling tips um let's see what heat they can take what page is that on care and styling 13 so yeah there's some care and styling tips right there um so it just says how to wash keep your hair and scalp clean before wearing comb your hair with a wide tooth comb to avoid knots Wash your hair extensions with warm water and sulfate-free conditioner, as well as 100% natural hair products. Um, wash your hair by holding gently and do not rub the hair. Hold the roots down to avoid tearing the tape or clips, I suppose, in our case. Um, comb your hair extensions with a wide tooth comb from the bottom to the top of the extension. Gently hold the hair with your hand and squeeze the water um beat the hair with a towel beat it <laughs> uh, beat your hair with a towel until the hair is dry and it is best to dry naturally okay daily wash is not good for hair extensions especially when you first apply the hair never use any products containing alcohol or ethanol which can damage the hair extensions and also wear down on the adhesive it is better to wash it every four to five days as careful as you can so the main one i'm interested in how to style um because what i'm what i would like to do i want to get my hair straighteners i want to straighten the extensions um just to see what it looks like with my hair straight. And then I wanna put the extensions in and curl them to see what that looks like as well. So how to style. Our hair extensions is 100% human hair. It can be coloured, straightened and curled. Perfect. Uh, we recommend the temperature of straightened plate should be controlled at 130 degrees to 150 degrees with five to six seconds every time. Uh, repeat three to five times okay like i say hair can also be color generally speaking it's easier to darken the hair than to lighten the hair we highly recommend um having your hairdresser dye the extension because coloring them yourself might pose high risk and not coming out the shade that you want human hair is tender by nature the lifespan largely depends on how they were worn and taken care of improper shampoos conditioners frequent use of heat tools dyeing and heavy styling may shorten the lifespan okay cool well that is absolutely fantastic um but yeah i mean there's detailed pictures in there as well how to pop them on um that's actually a really really handy little booklet wow. Let's get onto their hair extensions themselves. So let's unzip them. I love the presentation of everything. It's very neat, very tidy, very well thought out and looked after. Um, but yeah, here they are. Let's take this little net off them. It's quite a weight as well. Like I say, it's 150 grams. Ooh, and these are only the 16 inch ones. Guys, these feel lovely. Really, really nice. I think we're gonna get away with that. Yay! Right, so in the description of these extensions, it just says fuller, longer hair, instantly, 100% rimmy hair, uh, easily to clip in, multiple lengths and shades, uh, heat safe and holds curls, perfect for all hair types. Uh, in the set, you get one four clip weave, which is eight inch. You get two three clip wefts, which is six inch, four two inch wefts which is four inch and two one clip wefts two inch if i'm pronouncing any of that wrong i do apologize so this is the four clip one um oh, it's so good i was kind of worried that it would be like oh it's gonna feel like barbie hair but you can tell it's real hair because 
it feels it it really really feels it this is the three and i really like these clips as well it's another three there is a two so obviously it's got some kinks in because obviously when they were stored which is fine um i'll quickly run a straightener over them they're in really really good nick very very good quality and um, you can see on the seam where it's clipped in there's no loose bits nothing like that um it's done very well indeed how much length is that going to give me oh quite a bit extra wow and that's just the 16 cool right, so the first thing i'm going to do is just take this one clip extension and my straightener just to straighten it all out to see what it looks like so let's do that there we go that is what that looks like so i am just gonna quickly go away straighten all of the extensions and i'll be back and we'll pop them in right, so i thought i'd stand up to do this uh more room to move and so on but here is a little before of my hair i have taken photographs of the front and the back but i just thought i'd show you in any way this is what it looks like and then at the back that's what that looks like first things first we need to separate the hair into sections so we can actually pop the extensions in i would use an actual comb and everything to do this and make sure the part is straight but just for the purposes of the video we're just having a play so as you can see i've sectioned my hair here show you at the back that's what that looks like so we're going to start off with the biggest weft which is if i can reach it <laughs> which is this one is the four but please remember i haven't got a mirror here um to view frontal when i'm looking i'll probably use my viewfinder um but when i'm putting these in the back i'm freestyling so <laughs> bear that in mind right so feel where the parting is Put the clips in, push down so it grabs some hair and then close them like that. And now do, get that hair out of the way, and now do the side like that. And now this other side. And that's what that one looks like. Ooh, they actually feel really nice on the scalp. Nothing is sticking out at all, so that is good. Um, next, I am going to move on to the three clip wefts, I think, and we get two lots of these. So what I'm going to do is just above them ones, I'm going to put a new section in, and I'm going to put it maybe from about here, yeah. We don't want it too close to the hairline to make it obvious that we're wearing hair extensions um, but i think i'm gonna put it on either side so the two of them meet in the middle at the back right so open the clips turn around right so same again just feel where the parting is and pop it in so roughly the middle of my head is here so i'm going to make sure with that third one i don't go over so i can meet them in the middle so let's just secure the first clip that's that one and there we go that is that one obviously with me having a balayage done these extensions match the end of my hair not the top half of my hair so for now just ignore that because that looks all types of wrong hopefully it will come together <laughs> so this is the other three clip one so we'll open them up and then feel where that one is that i've done so it's there so i want this one to meet here right i hope that looks all right as i say i've got no mirror Ugh. It feels really weird to have long hair right now take the hair down again so again we're going to section the hair a little bit higher up right so now i have the two clip ones so first of all i'm going to start by putting these oh, look at them baby hairs first of all i'm going to start putting them in the front here i'm going to probably put it about here i don't want to put it too far forward because we don't want to see them through the natural hair about there, about there. Ooh, 
just come a bit closer but now the other side so that's about there I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the hair down again and make a new section and um, put the other two so maybe starting here and here yeah let's just play with it so now the next lot of two clip ones i'm gonna put these back a bit further so i think i'll pop that about there and then just feel where that part is and clip it like that should work out when i put this on that side these two should meet in the middle again i think i think <laughs> Like that, so yeah, they do, don't they? Hair feels nice and thick, so that's that. Ooh. And then I am left with two one clips, which I'm going to put just here, higher up, I think. So yeah, so I'll just come in a bit closer to do this one. So as you can see, that set is here. So I'm just going to make a new section. And then I've got the single clip. And I'm just going to put that out there, I think. On the other side. Right, now I'm just going to brush it through. And there we go, guys. That is them put in. I really love the length of them. I'm glad I didn't go any longer. I really, really am because I'm not used to long hair. This is perfect for me. Um, but I like how it's a seamless blend. Um, I like my front natural pieces here as well, just sweeping across like that. Um, I can feel the extensions in my head, but they're very comfortable indeed. Um, I really <laughs> really like them uh, the blend I think is very nice um just trying to do that so that's where my natural hair is there so there's there's quite a difference there uh yeah what do you guys think wow wow wow, wow. I'm so over the moon just to show you from the back that is the back does that blend okay? I hope you can't see any of the clips there. I don't think you can. Um, but yeah, does that look all right? I think it blended really, really lovely. I'm just going to go and show my son and my husband and see what, <laughs> what they think. What do you think of my hair? It looks nice. You like it? Yeah. Do you like the length? Yeah. Can you tell that it's fake? No. Can you see where my hair is? I mean, you've got these front pieces here, but you get that you have that when you have long hair in any way. I cannot tell. No. You can't tell. You like it? Yeah. What do you think? Do you like the length? Can you tell it's fake? You can't, but I know it is. If it's what I mean. Yeah. Can you no, tell? Can you tell where the blend is? No, it's not obvious at all. I was just saying to Thomas, you've got them front pieces there, but you have that with long hair in any way, where you have little like little, what do you call them? Side bangs, my yeah, bangs. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all right. Yeah. I went for a sixteen inch. What does it look like from the back? Yeah, good. You like it? Should I curl it? No, I like it straight. You like it straight? Yeah. I'm going to be playing with it for ages now. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Just to show you in natural light instead of artificial light, this is what they look like. Guys, that blend is seamless. Uh, you heard what my son said. You heard what my husband said. They like them. Uh, they said that it looks really natural. Like that's from the back. Oh, 
do. I really, really like it. It's strange looking in the mirror uh, and seeing long hair on me. I wish my hair was this length. I really do. Um, I'm going to have to try and do stuff to help it to grow. But yeah, guys, look at that. Look, look, I love it. Should I curl it? My husband said just to leave it straight. Should I leave it straight? What I'll do, I'll leave this video here. Um, if you want to see me curl it, maybe I could do another video on styling it curly. Um, so I'll comment down below if that's what you want to see. Um, but yeah, I am so over the moon with these. Guys, these are so worth the money. There is a sale on the website. Their site is linked down below in the information box and the comment box. Again, here is my code, it gets 10% off. Make sure to use it. And if you get stuck on choosing your shade, ask them for help. They will certainly help you. They helped me pick the perfect shade. Wow. This is my hair. I want my hair to be this length. This is my hair goal. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that concludes this video. So if you have not already, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.